Stevenson falls to Eastern in overtime. Glenn Clark with head coach Gary Stewart. Coach, obviously not the way you want the season to come to an end. Um, what was the difference in overtime tonight? Well, I, I thought um, the second half really turned. Um, it was a physical game, first half. And then in the second half, they go to line 20 times, we go two. And in a close game like that, um, I have nothing but, but admiration for the way that we played and how hard we fought and to get ourselves to overtime to, to make a basket at the end. Um, you know, I just would like to focus in on my guys and, and uh, really um, couldn't be more uh, proud of the way that they competed. Obviously, a, a, a great moment for McHale in his final game to have a memory like that with that last basket. Can you just take me through the, those guys that you know aren't going to be back here moving forward and what they've meant to you into this program? Well, they mean the world. Um, you know, let's talk about what they are off the floor. You know, let's talk about their academics. Let's talk about their character and, and how they uh, comport themselves in the community and on campus. I mean, they're a credit to Stevenson. Uh, our basketball program in the university is better because of them. And uh, they represent everything good in, in Stevenson Athletics. I mean, um, I can't speak highly enough. Uh, they come every day. Um, you know, there's two, two guys in there that never got a, a grade lower than an A minus or an A in their, in their careers. I mean, there's, there's a, a whole bunch of uh, honor students in that bunch. And um, again, I, I'm the luckiest guy in the world to be able to coach guys like that. What are you most proud of? I know, you know, again, you'd rather be playing, right? You'd rather be getting ready for the, the tournament. But as you reflect on this team in the coming weeks, months, what will you be most proud of about them? Yeah, it, it's interesting. That's an interesting question, uh, Glenn, in that we got better as the year went on, but we didn't eliminate the lapses in place. So our, our really good play was pretty good. Um, you can see it today. I mean, we're playing against the defending conference champions, and uh, we go to Alvernia, and we're up with two minutes left there. Who's going to win our conference? We beat Widener at Widener. So we, we had some really good moments. We just didn't have um, the consistency. The teams that are playing at the top, they have one or two tough moments during a game. Um, ours were, were five and six minutes. And, and uh, to get where we're trying to get, you, you've got to close that gap. And unfortunately, we weren't able to do that. Coach, do you have a message for these guys? As you, you know, like your last time together. I don't, I don't know how this works, right? What did you say to them as you got in the locker room? Well, I, I mean, this is a time where um, one door uh, appears to be shut, but another one will open. And, and I told them their best days are ahead of them. They're going to do some really good stuff. Uh, they're going to be great, great husbands and fathers, and and they're going to really be supportive of their communities. And um, the best is yet to come. I mean, they, they've got a. a a lot of really, really wonderful attributes. And um, again, I was just really fortunate to spend a, a part of their life with them. And, and I'll miss them on a daily basis, but it's a lifetime relationship and excited to see uh, what's next. Coach, appreciate it. Uh, uh, disappointing, obviously, the result, but appreciate taking the time all throughout the course of the season for it. Yeah, thank you, Glenn. Uh, you've been uh, terrific as always and uh, very appreciative of everything you do for Stevenson. He's Gary Stewart. I'm Glenn Clark. GoMustangSports.tv.